Alright guys, Bearded Dragon Source here with another video for you today. Today's vegetable we're going to be covering for Bearded Dragon diets is uh, kale. It is a superfood you probably have heard about in more ways than one. Uh, news coverage has been high on it. You know, a lot of nutritional recipes, books, uh, ways of life, people worshipping this vegetable really. Not to be joking, but uh, it, it's definitely got a high value of a lot of different vitamins and it is really good but just like anything else it does have some setbacks um, this is one of the highest vegetables in oxalates similar to spinach which is something we're going to completely avoid because it doesn't offer some of the benefits here but this is not something you're going to want to use every week oxalates can actually have uh, it, you know it's not like something you got to absolutely worry about it's not like you should avoid giving this because it's got all these other sorts of benefits for your dragon but oxalates what they do actually is they can prevent you from um, it can prevent the body from processing calcium properly, which is something that's obviously very important to a bearded dragon's, you know, getting his his uh, nutrients and and well-being in line. So don't don't worry yourself about it. It's not something you need to avoid. It's still a great vegetable. Just do it in uh, you know do it in moderation here. You don't want to overdo it, just like anything else. Um, again, as I say with most of my videos. Everything I start with is usually a, a romaine base, and then we'll work around that. So, in this in this week here, we'll be talking about kale. First thing I like to do, as with most of these vegetables that come on these uh, beefier stems, is to strip it down. Um, just like a lot of the other ones, you can do this either by hand, which isn't too bad, especially when they're nice and crisp along the stem, because then they can actually kind of just tear right away. Uh, again. If you prefer, you can always use a knife, uh, cut like this, kind of just ripping the leaves away from the stem, rip off the end there, and you got a nice simple stem, you just toss away to the side for now, do this with a good amount, um, again, you don't need to go too much, I wouldn't recommend doing your diet strictly kale. Some people think that, you know, just one vegetable at a time is, is the best way to feed their dragons. I like to make them in salads. Um, I think that I've found with all my dragons, since they all eat very well from young ages and up, uh, even the ones I breed, you know, they, they tend to eat their salads. And it's because, I think it's because it's blended. It's not so much they found their favorites. If they find one thing that they enjoy then their likelihood of eating the rest seems so much higher, especially from a younger age. So people get in the habit of giving their dragons, you know, only mustard greens or only romaine lettuce, which is oftentimes because they don't understand what, you know, diet, uh, you know, kind of dragon nutritional value is needed. But uh, it's not, not a good way to balance your dragon's diet. So, again, kale is a wonderful treat, we'll call it. Um, on my my four-week scale here, it is a once once in every four weeks type of vegetable uh, definitely something that I recommend once out of every four weeks but not something I recommend for more than every other week here um, again I break my salads my my mixes up into uh, weekly balance there so I try to make about a week's worth of greens every time that's why it works out that way and in this case I'm just preparing a small amount for all the dragons for a week for demonstration but that is kale for you. Uh, again, wonderful nutritional balance. Just something you don't want to do too much of. Um, too high in oxalates. And uh, other than that, it's got a wonderful balance all the way across. Really, really, really high in vitamin K, as uh, a lot of greens are, but this one is exceptionally high. Um, also has a, a decent count on vitamin A, and uh, especially some beta carotene in there. Decent nutritional stats there so a nice makeup when you don't have carrots in your mix perhaps um, also well balanced and uh, you know vitamin C fair amounts there it's really like I said it's it's got so much to offer as a green don't be, don't avoid it because of the oxalates but definitely definitely pair yourself there uh, don't go too crazy and that is kill for you hope you enjoyed the video come back next week and check out what else we have for you Thank you much. We'll see you next time.